In this video, we'll go over LeetCode question number 19, remove nth node from end of list. Given the head of a singly linked list, we need to remove the nth node from the end of the list and return its head. So for example, let's say this is a linked list we are given, and n equals 2. So we'll need to remove the second node from the end of the list, which is node number 4. Once it's removed, node 3 should point to node 5 instead. So the linked list goes from 1, 2, 3, to 5. And this is the linked list that we would return. Now, this problem would be a lot easier if n was given in terms of nodes from the start of the list. For example, if n equals 4 meant that we need to remove the fourth node from the start of the list, then we could simply traverse the list until we reach the n minus 1th node, so node 3. We could then make node 3 point to node 5, and we'd be done. The problem, though, is that since n is given in terms of nodes from the end of the list, while we're traversing a list, we have no idea when we're supposed to stop. Once we reach the end of the list, we would now like to go back two nodes so we can change the node that node 3 points to. But since this is a singly linked list, there is no way to traverse backwards and now we're stuck. So the way we can solve this problem is by using two pointers. The first pointer will get a head start of n nodes. So in this case, we'll move the blue pointer two nodes ahead. Then we'll move up both pointers until the blue one reaches the end. And as you can see, since the orange pointer started two nodes behind the blue one, once the blue pointer reaches the end, the orange pointer is now perfectly positioned right before the second node from the end of the linked list, and we can make node 3 point straight to node 5. In the worst case, each pointer will traverse the entire list once, so this runs in O of n time, and we'll only ever need two extra pointers, so it's also O of 1 space. Now let's look at the code and solve this in Python. Head will point to node number 1 in this linked list and let's use n equals 2 again, so we need to remove node 4. The first thing we'll do is create our two extra pointers, and we'll call them slow and fast, and point them both to the head node. We then need to give the fast node a head start, so let's enter this loop, and remember, n equals 2. So let's move up the fast pointer by setting fast equal to fast.next, and then we'll do it a second time. Now, this next line here is a check that's required for an edge case, when n is equal to the number of nodes in the linked list and I'll do an example later showing why this is necessary. But right now, since fast points to a node, this condition is false and we'll skip it. Now we'll keep moving up both pointers as long as fast.next is not none. So let's move up fast, then move up slow. We haven't reached the end yet, so let's move up both pointers one more time. Now fast.next points to none, so we're ready to remove node 4 by using the slow pointer to manipulate node 3. Now let's dissect this line here. Slow points to node 3, so slow.next refers to this arrow here, which currently points to node 4. On the other side, we know that slow.next points to node 4, so slow.next.next points to node 5. So this right-hand side will return a reference to node 5. So this line will set slow.next to point to node 5, like this. Now, notice that we haven't actually deleted node 4. It's still pointing to node 5. However, it's now no longer possible to reach node 4, since there's no way to move backwards from node 5. Because of this, Python's garbage collector will automatically delete node 4, since there are no more references to that node. In languages like C or C++, you may have to delete that node manually, but we don't have to worry about that in Python. So finally, we can now just return head, which still points to node 1, which then points to node 2, 3, then straight to 5, and we're done. Now let's look at an edge case where n is equal to the length of the list. Let's say this is the linked list which consists of three nodes, and n is also equal to three. The third node from the end is node one, so this means we need to delete the head node. Again, we'll create our slow and fast pointers, and we'll move up the fast pointer three times. So that's one, two, and three. Now when we check this condition, since fast points to none, this condition is true. We need to check for this because if we don't, then this line here would cause issues since none doesn't have a next attribute. So since fast is none, we now know that we need to delete the head node and we can do that by simply returning head.next which points to node 2. So the linked list we return would start from node 2 then point to node 3 and we're done. 